Hey guys, welcome back to Talos Principle. Welcome to World 4. We've got four pieces and two stars. Like I said it last time, and we'll find out. Is this going to be one this game finally breaks me? Because I'm doing great in World C so far, but two stars has me a little concerned. Because that last star was pretty tough, and that was the only one. What do you got me for today? What do you got for me today? Not for me for today. That's not how language works. I'm a dumb, stupid head. Uh... I don't have enough yellow sigils for the device I need. This is crazy! Sheep, how'd you fuck up at- Really, you got all the way here, but you couldn't get all the yellow sigils. Are you- are you stupid? Granted, you probably needed 100% of them, but still. You- you might be stupid. <laughs> you are coming to realize that the cycle cannot be ended. It can only be transcended. Transcendence comes from the ceasing to be invested in the cycle. Continue your work, but do not ponder its significance, Samsara. <laughs> we are the process. The process is the system. The system is us. We are awa we when we are when we awaken we will be one shepherd the sound effects happen no not a play button oh no that's a play button oh no okay I'll take a look at that in a minute do a quick looking around we have a chamber over here a grating a door can't walk through it sometimes I just feel like I need to check <laughs> like maybe this one's not real another door another chamber here no play button there, that's promising. I might do the ones that don't have play buttons first, because play buttons often throw me for a loop. Uh, box and connector, that sounds simple. Probably the hardest one in the entire level. <laughs> that's how it goes, right? Uh, any other notes around here? Okay. And then what? Just a connector, wow. So it's like connector, like box connector, box connector something else, and then like four things, right? So it's like increasing complexity. One, two, three, four. Or at least that's the suggestion, but I, I could be totally wrong. Noteworthy thing is that this is a very small, nondescript open world for the uh, puzzles to be in. So it's unlikely that the stars are in the open world, although they could be on one of these... We are surrounded by walls that they could potentially be on, I suppose. We'll have to keep an eye out for any stars, as any evidence that we can find. Also, there's a whole chamber. This whole area is walled off over here. With no clear way of getting inside. I wouldn't be surprised if it contained a star, but I can't see anything so far. Alright, let's check in with the, with the PC and then move on. I'm gonna do the order I said of, of the increasing complexity of devices, and that'll, that'll be a nice progression in my head for how to do the, handle this place. So what notes do we have? Why do you gotta keep... Why can't you just give me network access, asshole? I, do, I did all your dumb tests, and you won't just cooperate with me. Alright, pets. Please remember to release your pets. While it's true that not all pets will be able to adjust to living without you, many will manage, and the least you can do is give them a chance. Just remember, release your pets before you become in incapacitated. If you, no if you notice any locked-in animals in your area, please take the time to free them. Leaving the doors and windows of your home open will turn in it into a useful shelter. Uh, setting out large quantities of dry food may help your pet through the transition period. Ah. That's actually, this is very Tokyo Jungle, by the way. Uh, if, you, if, if any of you don't know what that is, uh, head over to the, the Sad Games, my other channel, and check that out. That's We have like 15 episodes, they're like an hour long each. That's a, it's a roguelike survival game where you play as little animals, where one day, mankind just ends, and you're playing as various zoo animals and house pets that are just sort of making it out in the wild of, of, of that is now Tokyo. That's why they call it the Tokyo Jungle, which is a cool premise there. But yeah, like, if you're if everyone's gonna die, that's like a thought process that not everyone considers, because then not everyone thinks about what happens after I'm dead, because people are selfish and don't think beyond their own lifespans, but yeah, if you have pets trapped in your house, they can't leave. Like, they they wouldn't even know how to try to leave, let alone have the ingenuity to do it, because they could pretend- some, some large, large enough dogs would probably break a window, but do they know they can break a window in the first place? They might not even consider it. They might just starve to death after they're done eating you because they're trapped in a root house with you. So they're probably going to eat your corpse. Yeah, your pets turn on you real fast when they're hungry. Uh, and go around letting people out in the area. These are nice. I love, I love this note in particular. Leave the doors and windows of your home open. Le leaving the doors and ho uh, windows of your home open will turn into a useful shelter. Oh, I, I, like, I like the idea of imagining all of our houses becoming dens for wild dogs and stuff like that. In the that's a post-apocalyptic uh, scenario that I've never really seen expanded upon in a cool way. That kind of seems, seems neat. Our kitty journal, 99. We've seen a lot of these journals. Sarabai gone. La lost day to grief. Unable to focus. Drennan working as if possessed. Does she sleep? Getting tired. There's no formatting here at all. 
So sarabai has gone, lost the day to grief, unable to focus. Drennan worked as if possessed. Does she sleep? Getting tired. Yeah. So talking about Sarabai and Drennan, it's apparently Sarabai left to grieve because they couldn't work through it. Right up to the end, stuff stops working prote uh, potentially. And yeah, that guy had no, there was no formatting in that journal at all. So I think the other ones did have formatting. So they probably just don't bother anymore. What's the point of even typing anyway? Like, who are you, who are you writing for? Although I guess if anyone's going to think that they're writing for a reason, it's going to be these people because they're leaving a history in the first place. So, Blake, W457, uh, lots of numbers. Without contraries is no progression. Without contraries is no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate are necessary for human existence. Error. So without contraries is no progression. They're make, I think they're making the point that you need adversity in order to progress. The, 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 the document's just called contraries. I think they're making the point to say that you need you need resistance in order to uh, in order to grow, and that if there's no everything's kind of aimless without resistance. Okay, this is going to be the connector only puzzle. Hopefully it's not the hopefully it's the easiest and not the hardest. Stables. I like laser puzzles. They might be my favorite. Lasers are cool. Death drones are not cool. Everyone likes lasers, right? So obviously connect that to that to open this door. Obvious first step, but I, but where do I get a connector? It'd be interesting to find a, uh, it'd be interesting to see a puzzle that was full of connectors, but none of the connectors could move. So we have a jammer, that's interesting, and there's our p puzzle piece. It'd be interesting to see a, a chamber where 100% uh, of the connectors were locked into purple chambers where you couldn't move them because lasers go through purple. So it was all about, a really, it was all about making a really specific combination of uh, decisions with connectors to, to sort of succeed. Uh, might be a cool idea for a puzzle. They might even do it in this game at some point. I just haven't gotten there yet. Although that'd probably be an early puzzle because it doesn't. It probably wouldn't be super hard if you don't even have to think about laser placement and only have to think about which ones go where. So I can connect this to that to proceed to open this one up. And there's another connector over here. So let's see. Obviously, a key part of this puzzle is going to be. Uh, which specific door do I use the jammer on, and which ones do I use connectors on? Can I see the connector from here? No. Nope. Let's see here. I may need to move... Yeah, I'm gonna have to move the second one into a better position. Thank God for right click, when it works at least. Please work this time. Ta-da! I almost, I almost messed up that angle and didn't make it through the first door, whoops. Alright. So, so far, so easy, but this is not, of course, the puzzle. The puzzle's gonna be what comes next. Yep. <clears throat> so, right here, we have an obvious problem where this requires another connector, but they're not gonna give me another connector, are they? I seriously doubt it. So, huh. Obviously, there's windows here, so you could jam through one of these windows, potentially. I'm thinking that I need to move the first connector. Yeah. I think I need to move the, the first connector right here, so that it, uh... Yeah, somewhere around here... Nope, the first place. Uh, right here, so it can reach the laser there, and it can touch that, and it can shoot through this window, which could give it an opportunity to get hit by the other connector so that it could open the door over here. I just need to move, figure out where to put the jammer, first of all. So... Let's see here. First of all... Huh. I'm gonna have to pick this up first, and I'm going to have to uh, disable this door so I can take the jammer inside. There we go. Oh, jam it from the other side. Then when I have to go through here, I'll jam this from this side. But I'll need to move the. Uh, but I'll use the other thing in a moment. Okay. I do. I think I have this figured out. I ho hopefully, I've explained it properly. But if not, still, I think I can help out. Okay. So. Let's see. There we go. That's, that's pretty much what I was going for. Slightly off. I, I originally planned on taking this inside, but it looks like it'll reach from here. I might have to reposition reposition that one slightly. I'll do that from the inside, though. I think I'm close enough that I can I can go inside. So jam. Is this really the whole puzzle? The puzzle seems a little too easy. So maybe this is going to be the puzzle where I need. There we go. Maybe this is going to be the puzzle that involves a, a gold star somewhere. Oftentimes I feel like the easier ones have a gold star hidden in some way. 
and that's why they're so easy. So doors open. Notably, when uh, now these doors, at first I thought they weren't a big deal. Now I'm thinking they're probably very strategically placed because as we learned from uh, the previous area I went to, getting the star was only made possible by solving the puzzle first and then shooting a laser through the open door created by solving the puzzle. Like that kind of opening could be vital to a puzzle. But I have no evidence so far of where to even look for a star. So I think I'm, it's best to just proceed with the mission. Yeah, let's just proceed with the puzzles themselves and, until I realize, until I think I have better evidence that there's even a star to look for. I'm gonna have to grab that uh, jammer to get back out of here. Ta-da! This is the first time in a while I've seen a, a gate open after finishing a puzzle and it didn't even let me back out. I had to actually still do something to get back out. Usually the gates lead you outside of everything. All right, that's down. Was that something? Just some little yellow flowers. <clears throat> Alright, this one, now we're, we're stepping up now. Now we've got squares. Armory. Oh. Hello. What have we here? So you can't approach it, but it does work as a moving platform. But right now, there's no reason to think that it's useful as a moving platform. Huh. I don't... Can I get up there at all? I could almost get up there, but I don't see what the point would be even. We'll have to figure out what the purpose of that guy is later. So... Blue, blue source connector. Obviously, let's get started. I put, I connect immediately, not because I think it's going to be vital to the final solution, but because it's often useful. Okay, so I need to connect blue to blue, but I can't get it over here without with it maintaining a connection to the source. So I have to find another connection for that. There's a jammer. That sounds important. Uh, I immediately connect things uh, with no exceptions, just because I figure even though it's probably not vital to the final solution, you often open up a door to something that will help you. No matter what I do, I'm always this. Always this body, this mind, this world, no way out. S. I think S may have been slowly going crazy, because he's been in the simulation for so long, and no matter what he does, he always repeats, he always comes back, and there's no escape. It's part of that argument people have sometimes where they think that uh, if you lived forever, you might just go crazy, which I don't always fully... I'm not sure if that's necessarily true, but it's it's a hypothesis posed by mortals, so it can't be... There's no way of knowing if it's accurate, but it's the best we can do. So, I got, sorry, I got distracted by that blue stuff for a second there, but obviously I need to connect this to proceed, so... Ta-da! Grab this jammer, which could potentially get me through the next door. Now what? There's the red source and a fan. Huh. I wonder, what kind of radius does the fan have? Is it just a straight line? It's not a straight line, interesting. The fan covers this entol entire area, so I need, to, I need to break that red... I need to break the red laser. Okay. So how do you break a red laser? Can you jam a laser? That's an interesting question. Let's test, let's test that. Can I just break the actual source? Nope. Can I jam you? No? Can I put this in front of the door? Nope, it's too short to jam. Okay. They probably specifically made it high enough for that particular purpose. I have no apparent way of getting to that connector, so I can't break the connector itself. So the way to go is probably to, uh... I'm probably going to need to, uh... How do I put this? Uh... I think I'm going to need to connect a blue laser to that connector so that it, uh... No longer connects. I also need to somehow connect to these things together, which is awkward. Huh. So I need to get that next door open. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just need this jammer and that's the whole story here. Okay, let's connect, bl let's connect blue to red to get see if I can get to the next door that way. Hello, friend. Hello, ma. Hello, dad. I'm a ch 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 cherry bomb. Wait, what's that happening for? Why is that hap? Don't do that. Can I also connect you to that? How do I... Okay, that's a problem. There we go. Damn it. I need to figure out how to... Okay, I thought that shooting the blazer at it would disconnect it. Huh. Okay, if that's not the solution, maybe if I can get the blue through the entire network... Maybe I can specifically connect it to that. That'd be interesting. Like, does connecting blue to that, all, would that disrupt the signal? My complication here comes from the fact that I only have so many... 
connectors at my disposal that may or may not be able to make a direct line of sight connection. I have nothing else here, right? Nope. Okay, so... Huh. So the question is, how do I get blue in here? Uh, in here. Uh, da 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 So I can't establish a line of sight, necessarily. I also need to somehow get blue... So obviously I want this to be connected to both these things, because I also want to connect to that door. Potentially all of these doors, really. If I can get blue somehow to touch this spot, I'm set. That's the main thing I need to do. Okay. So now the question comes of how do I connect... How do I connect a blue through here? Can I... Is it possible to get that line of sight? Because the only way to get line of sight at this point would be to get around this corner somehow. First of all, to do, my, to do myself a favor, let's go as far back as possible. Yik. Is it still connected to everything? Does it hit line? Does it hit a wall? All right, everything makes it. That's the best angle I think I can possibly manage. So now it all comes down to: Is it possible to connect that and that? It's probably gonna be very, it's very tight to this corner. Nope, it doesn't seem possible. Oh, is that what this thing comes down to? We have, we need a box, right? Oh. Hello, Jammer friend. How about... I totally forgot about... The, see, what happened is I was doing all this stuff and I forgot about this bomb asshole. Give me that. Give me that. Fuck off. <laughs> I need this box, man. So... What help does box do? Wait, can box literally just block laser? Is it that simple? Huh. Let's see here. I don't think that's necessarily part of the solution. I think... Just I think just just interrupting the signal is the secret here. So I wonder, can I stack this on something to make it high enough to get past something? Like if I could potentially jam get over this wall somehow, perhaps. It's over there. That's the that's the uh, final chamber. Let's see here. It's definitely the connectors definitely aren't tall enough to to attach to attach these. Let's see. Can I, does this give me the ability to platform anywhere? If I put it back on this asshole, can I jump on him? No. Can't jump on him. I don't think it gives me... makes me anywhere near high enough to do reach anything around here. And I'm given no other boxes, although they might give me a box in the final chamber to let me jump up on something, which may be related to a star, but that's not related to my current predicament. Okay. This box must play a role, right? So, what the role does it play? Let that guy go back to bouncing around. He's not useful to us. He's looking for box opportunities. There's a weird rampy looking spot right there. I wonder. Go back to connecting some of this stuff together. Is there a nice thing that the box gives me access to? Maybe this ledge here? It almost looks like I, I could jump on it. But yeah, m like most crumbling debris, it's not really meant to be part of the environment, is it? It's just, like, something to look nice. To compete- to complete the aesthetic. They don't want me to necessarily look at it. Huh. I wonder if I can connect a jammer through there somehow. Interestingly, both of these gates open, apparently, when I collect the piece. Okay. I'm getting just a wee tad bit stuck for the moment. What can I use this box for, potentially? Huh. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to rearrange things a bit. Let's see here. I just don't see how I can possibly connect these lasers to each other. So I'll see if I can get a better angle with this one, perhaps? I mean, it's hard because the best possible angle is to go further in this direction. Maybe that's the secret? Just maybe? problem is then I won't be able to open the freaking thing I want to open. Okay. Let's just make- let's sh just try to go for an angle for now where I can connect things at all. Is it even possible to go that far? Jesus. I can't even connect them around to get that one door open. They make this very difficult for me. I feel like I'm missing a connector altogether. What am I trying to accomplish then? I don't have a clear goal of what I'm trying to do right now. Yep, the box, cer the box certainly doesn't want to stay there. 
All right, I may have to, I'm gonna have to fiddle with this one for a while, I think. So I have a theory where I think if I block, can I put this here to block it? It will block the laser. So then the question is, can I connect, can I repurpose their previous circuit for my own purposes? Ah. It's not becoming blue, is it? Oh wait, oh wait, never mind. I, I don't have a line of sight. That's my problem here. Okay, so move it a little bit. There we go. Fucking up again. Slightly difficult to... Ah. Come on. Center it. Is it connected this time? There we go. Now it's a blue network. Okay. Now if I can just progress through here a bit, which I can, it may be possible to... Oh, here we go. I'll grab this so I can open the door from behind. Alrighty. And then I can move the jammer just like we did the previous puzzle. And now I can use their network to connect the target to one of these connectors. Ta-da! I guess repurposing their network wasn't really the important thing. It was just making blue available over there while blocking red, which is what happened. Nailed it. All right. Ta-da! I can also rip this off the wall. Suck it! That's right. What are you gonna do now? Nothing. You ain't nothing. <laughs> Disarmed. All right, that's taken care of. And here's the weird, the very direct exit. So, huh? I don't know what it would be, but if there's any, if there's any star in the area, and you need a specific way of getting around it, the fact that this late, the fact that these doors are completely open now, may play a key point in that. I wouldn't be surprised if like you put a block around here and try to hop up on something. In fact, let's try to do just that. Since it's currently not doing much of anything, I can just remove this. I can remove this altogether. Uh, grab this laser asshole. Uh, the fan's taken off, so it won't cause me any problems. I can connect this directly, which means I can just grab the jammer and run back around without being trapped. Use the jammer on this door, use this block, and maybe be able to jump higher? Probably not, though. I don't think I can jump any high. Still too high. St well, I tried. Alright, next puzzle, I think. We haven't found evidence of a star yet, as far as I can tell, so... Until I see exactly what are, where they are that I'm even trying to go for, there's, not, there's no use bashing my head against the wall for too long. Not even knowing if I'm headed towards something. The throne room. Now, now we're doing block and connector just like before, but now there's a fan. So we are escalating things, and the next puzzle we do is going to add a play button. And that is my nemesis. Okay, so. Hello, box. Hello, connector, which apparently has... It must have a connect. I can't see what color it is, but there's some there's some sort of connector to this door, a receiver around this door. Uh, probably red, maybe no, or it could be blue. There's no way of knowing. Okay, so there's our piece we are looking for, and a staircase that looks like. Oh, my my camera just went straight through the grate. I didn't know it could do that. There's a staircase leading somewhere. Maybe that's just the way out, or maybe it's also a key component in finding a, a star of some kind. And opening that gate over there on the left is going to be the key to me getting out of here. Okay, so. Let's progress forward to their, their labyrinth to see. All right, so here's what we use the block for, clearly. We have a fan device that seems to be self-powered. There doesn't seem to be a requirement for it, but it uh, does not have a fan currently. There's a star. Okay. So I could, let's see, if I could get up high somewhere, I could walk along the walls and drop down to get the star. Otherwise, I might be able to place a block somewhere. I would need three blocks though, I think, because one block gets you this high. You probably need a series of blocks to get you that high. Although that fan may play a key role in being able to jump across somewhere. We'll see. Hello. Oh, well, there's our fan source. So now I just need to turn it off, which I think I can do by doing this, right? Nope. That does not interrupt it when it's already at the receiver. So what if I do this and this? No, that won't do it either, will it? Let's see. First of all, can I even connect it from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Not quite, though. I don't. I don't think the thing is. I don't expect that to work necessarily. Let's see what I can do from this side. We can connect to red and red. Oh, and red. Can I get all of them in line instead at once? Is the question. Huh. Doesn't look. I'm not sure if I can get all of them at once. We'll try real quick. Slightly more to the left. 
Okay. Is everything in nope, slightly off. Now I'm missing the left one. Okay, so they seem to be intentionally not in the same range. So which one which one do I want to do first? Okay, this one first, because that one's clearly gonna give me a box. So let's go grab that box. Can I get there without the fan bullet stopping me? Okay, good. Box number one accomplished. Let's see, what does this box accomplish? It gets me up here, and I can grab it again to get higher. And this, this is a short wall up here, so I can probably stick a laser up here for any particular reason. And putting a laser up here will probably help out. Okay. Also, what if I put it, can I put a box up here maybe? I feel like putting a box up here and then then sprint jumping across might get, might get me the star. If it does though, I'm gonna wanna wait for later. Because, uh, wow. It was doing the hover animation even though there's no uh, fan there, weird. Anyway, getting a box up here is gonna be key probably, so. Let's see if I can get the connector up here. What is that, uh, what's going on over there? Nah. Okay, so. First of all, let's, let's move this. Oops, accidentally disconnected it instead of. Meant to do right click, my bad. Okay, so. We'll see if this gives me any special access. Oh, it didn't even open the gate. That gate requires both r uh, blue and red. So I believe I'm gonna have to somehow get access to that blue connector in order to even proceed. Okay. So. I can't get past the fan, so I think this elevator must be. play some key role here then. Not elevator, the staircase. So let's get the connector up top and see if that gives me the ability to connect it to something in particular. Just to make sure I don't leave it up here. Let's drop the box. There we go. Don't want to accidentally leave it up here and get stuck. Okay, so. Is there a particular reuse I can use this for, maybe? Huh. I can connect red. Okay, so the gate is- oh, the gate's to the wrong size. Okay, so maybe I need the box up here. I may need the box up here to connect it properly then. But then my, my concern is what if I need the box again, I can't get back up. So I better be really sure about what connection I make, other, or I may have to restart. And that's not ideal. Let's see. Last time I interrupt- unfortunately, last time I interrupted the laser by literally blocking it. And I don't know if that's an option right now. I wonder if I can reasonably platform over there. Let's drop everything down so I don't get trapped down here, up here, get trapped up here. I want, but maybe I can sprint to jump up there. Ah, uh, this might be crazy. Okay, okay, I can just run over here. Oh, it's not, it's not disconnectable. What is this? What is this sorcery? Okay, so I can, I can get in front of it though. If I can get in front of it, that means I can probably put a box in front of it to shut off the fan. There's notably no barrier here. Oh, connect red to red and I'm set. Oh, and since there's no barrier, I can just walk in and out of here. So everything's down on the floor where it's not gonna get stuck. Good. Grab this connector. Oh, I can make use of this. Okay, so. Red and red and red and connect. Uh, is it not connected? Oh, I didn't click on the source yet. Let's see here. Huh. I may need to go upstairs first, so let's go upstairs. So, bring this right over here. T taking me hopping, hopping. I think I'm making progress here. I think I've made a breakthrough of some kind. Let's see here. So ideally, I would place this in a position. Let's drop the box. Ideally, I'd place this in a position that gets every everything lit up, but also blocks the fan. Hey. Don't fall. It's in, I'm surprised you can stand on this. Okay, so... Question, let's see, can I, can I get it in the way is the question. But either, either way, just being able to connect certain things together would be good. Alright, let's just... I'm gonna get annoyed by that, that, that burning sound, so let's just connect these. There we go! Now the fan is circumvented, so this part of the puzzle doesn't exist. That part of the puzzle doesn't exist. You just have to be careful not to get my block stuck anywhere in case I need to move this again. But right now... It's opening the only thing it probably needs to open. So let's go around through the open door we've created. So now we need to connect. We need to connect blue and red at the same time, which is complicated for us because uh, let's see. Because that's a pre that's a that's a pre-placed uh, object, so we can't 
change its location. So I believe the issue here is we need to connect red to red, which means we need to somehow place this red thing in a position where it can open this door so we can keep going through, hopefully. But also, uh, it needs to connect to that red door and the red door way down there. Huh. Although being able to get in and out might not matter once I'm already inside. The problem is I might create a, I might be creating a point of no return for myself, so this is a little concerning, but if I put it in the right position, I could be set. I'll definitely have to be careful though to make sure that I only I never right click when I don't want to. Let's see here. I'm gonna wanna move this real quick, just to be in a place where it's less likely to be in my way. Alright. I'm gonna have to go or nothing, because I'm I think I have to move that connector to win. But if I take oh right, I need I need this box to get back up there. Uh, I think I have to move that connector to win, but I don't think I can possibly wait, can I just take that fan off? Let's try that. I, there's no point of no return if I can grab the fan. Okay. Problem problem taken care of. Compl old, old thoughts of being a point of no return if I move the connector are gone now. Okay. Didn't even think about that at first. Okay. Progress is happening. It's important. Drop that so I don't lose it. I guess I could have taken that with me to make this next part easier, but whatever. Uh, so go ahead and... Let's say, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to remove the connections, but I'm going to connect to that again. And I'm going to connect to this and this, and then try to place it in just the right spot where it connects. Can I get line of sight here? Did I break line of sight? I did, okay. Oh, this is difficult, okay, that's not good. Right. But since we have full access to inside and outside because of the fan being gone, I can just put it outside the window and it's no freaking biggie. Okay. Careful positioning, and go. It should all make contact now, once I raise the blue laser with the block I have to make it stop being a little problem child. Did I solve everything? It's so pretty. Look how many lasers and bright lights there are. I've never been more happy. Okay. Area, area, something, something, nothing, maybe. What, there's more? How is there more? What do I need to... What do I have? I have block, I have connector. What the hell? I have to somehow get through here? Huh. Oh, fan. Duh. Problem solved. So they wanted me to take that fan off for sure. And block accomplished. There's my way out. Is there anything over there? Not necessarily. Looking for jump opportunities around here. I don't think I can jump up there. It's also gated off, so it won't matter. Okay. So. Now that the puzzle's solved, we're gonna grab this fan. Don't care about the rest of the puzzle anymore. Gonna look for opportunities to get the star. Presumably, it's going to involve... Oh. Maybe it's, it probably does involve this fan, huh? We'll take a quick look. Uh, so I guess I'll have to put you back on. There we go. So I can grab the fan, which I no longer need for the puzzle piece, so let's just take it out of here. And let's attach it to the other fan location and see what happens here. We So the immediate good news is that means the block's not necessary to proceed. But let's see if there's something I can do with said block. I take it with me. We Oh, that's right. I can probably use it to, to... Let's see here. There we go. It's a, the block levitates higher so I can jump on it. And which means I can jump to here, which means I get my star. That was the don't fuck it up. Okay. That was... That might be the easiest star ever. <laughs> the secret is that you make a slightly higher platform and then jump to it. LOLS. <laughs> Alright, one out of two down for this area. 